One of the casualties of this crisis surrounds the thousands of people who dedicated their lives to writing negative reviews on Yelp. Since they can't destroy any businesses at this time, they need to find another place to use their well-honed skills. Young lady, would you like to explain your latest Yelp review? It speaks for itself. You gave me two stars. I was being generous. This self-appointed patriarch did little last night except go through the motions. He brought in fast food and didn't even bother to ask what kind of frosty I wanted. He apparently took a sweet time getting home as the fries were soggy and the salad was limp. I brought you dinner. At that point, you were four stars. The service at this establishment leaves a lot to be desired. It used to be a place I enjoyed coming to, but frankly, the standards have fallen. It's become something of a dump. Down to three stars. When I complained to the manager, he had the nerve to tell me I was out of line. If the owners of this establishment are interested in better customer relations, perhaps they should download an attitude adjustment. Spoiler alert, they're my parents. And two stars. What do you have to say for yourself? If you'll just read down further, you'll see all the ways you can improve your performance. How can you be so ungrateful when I think of all the things... We are, are you texting right now? I find your raised voice to be very negative for customer relations. You're not my customer, you're my daughter. Stop with the reviews. If you don't like the way I'm doing something, just come talk to me. I'm just one room over. I don't know why you're so upset. Mom only got half a star. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm talking to you. She's livid. Do not go out there. No. Mom just posted a naked baby picture of me in the bathtub. Mom! <laughs> I would raise her up to three stars if I were you. She's got a lot more where that came from. 